Cool, so I'm excited to be here in London with Jason Aberbuck and Bill Borman. Guys, really uh, looking forward to having you down in New Zealand in July. And um, you guys travel around the world speaking at many conferences. What's most exciting about going to New Zealand for you in an HR tech? So show? New Zealand, I think you've probably heard me say it before at a few events. I think New Zealand is generally about three years ahead of most places, particularly in the States and other markets, for a whole bunch of reasons. And when I tell people that, they generally get surprised about it. But every time I go, um, every time I'm in New Zealand, I try and go as often as I can. Um, when I'm in New Zealand, I see that's that the first place I saw video interview on Facebook, the first place I saw people using Slack for recruiting, the first place I saw people um, doing what they call you call immersive branding around like the work rather than the company. All of those things I saw for the first time in New Zealand. Um, so I'm really excited about going to New Zealand. Yeah, I mean to me the thing that's most exciting for me is the optimism and the passion of the people. Yeah, you know, the people are optimistic, uh, hey we're gonna make this work. And we're going to look back to what you saw. I mean, we're going to try things and we're going to make it work. So every organization that we've ever worked with has, there has always been like very optimistic. And then from a passion standpoint, nothing gets in their way. It's also a test base. So what you yeah. get is... It's, size. Uh, it's the right yeah. size for them. Yeah, a lot of the larger organizations are Australian-owned or similar. Um, and they'll do the new things in New Zealand. Say, so, right, put it out, smaller market. It doesn't work out, there's no brand damage, let's do it there. Australia a lot more conservative, different kind of market really, I think. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, which is a factor which I think lots of people have underestimated, is in the New Zealand marketplace, not just in recruiting, in lots of industries, there was a lot of very, very creative people who did things like CGI and made props, all this kind of thing, who all worked on the Lord of the Rings trilogy. A lot of people. Right. Um, and they generally said, we love Australia, therefore we're not planning on we don't really want to go back to the US or wherever. We actually want to stay in Auckland or Christchurch or wherever it was. And those creative people had to go and get jobs. A lot of them were working in recruiting. And you'll find that they used to make they used to make the golem thing and then so yeah. you got creative people with no experience. The other thing I'm gonna add is that what I've saw what I've seen from a digital transformation standpoint is that's that's a standard word. That's a standard phrase there. Yeah. And it's not just an HR transformation, it's it's a digital transformation across the enterprise. So it's a different mindset than where the rest of the world is currently. The rest of the world is getting there, but in New Zealand, what I've found is they're there. It's a question of now, how do we do it? So it's exciting to kind of bring what we do and the thoughts to them and watch it, you know, watch it blossom. Fantastic. Well, guys, looking forward to uh, seeing you there in July. And uh, yeah, I hope they like the sessions. I'm, I'm talking about um, algorithmic anarchy. So that's going to be quite. What's the What's the weather like in July? Uh, we'll need our coats, but it won't be as bad as London. And the today. wine is excellent. The wine? The wine is excellent. It's really warm indoors. Do you drink wine? Uh, uh, much of it. Huh. So um, I'll, I'll take you to the, I promise you I'll take you to the island, and I'll take you to my favourite winery, and we'll drink wine and eat some good food. Do you? Okay. And I'll also take you to my favourite pub in the world, in the world, okay. which is in Auckland. We'll see you there. there. And if you want to know which pub that is, you have to come to the show. Thank you. Thanks, Simon.